Good morning, people. And yes, that is an olive tree to my left, to your right. And out there, again, is the old part of Seracuza, where eventually I will get to the landing spots of two disciples for Christ. Soon. It's going to happen soon. So I want to start off with this morning's prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord Jesus, today I ask for deliverance on the issues of anger, jealousy, envy, rage, depression, gossip. These words, or ultimately these, these demonic entities, <clears throat> I ask for deliverance on. For my viewers and for myself, I claim the blood of Christ over my viewers, all messages in between myself and them, I claim the blood of Christ on myself. I declare and decree on this day that our homes, our sanctuaries, for anyone that is looking for a place to rest. Heavenly Father, I give you all the glory and praise. And I ask for a blessed day for my viewers and for myself, as well as the people I work for. I ask that you please guide me through whatever passages you want me to read today, and allow me to communicate this message clearly. Amen. All right, guys. So, I gotta stop using this word. <laughs> I don't know. It's just. You know, everybody has that one, that one thing that they like to repeat over and over again, and I catch myself doing it. And my bosses are here. Of course they're here. <laughs> Much earlier than expected. Hold on a second. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> I'm back again. The devil is hard at work because the passages I, that I just read out of Proverbs and the message I was trying to get across, the camera magically turned off on the other side, so I recorded absolutely nothing. It is frustrating, but I'm going to let it go. Let the anger go. <laughs> That's the lesson today, is anger and jealousy. All right, so I'm going to go back to Proverbs. Okay. Russian roulette, guys. I don't know what I'm about to read, but we're going to find out. Hmm. Proverbs 30, number 5. Every word of God is flawless. He is a shield to those who take refuge in Him. Do not add to His words, or He will rebuke you and prove you a liar. Do not add to his words. It seems to be happening a lot today. I'm seeing across a lot of, let's say, a lot of channels on YouTube. Um, people prophesy. I just, I, I hope it's truly the Holy Spirit that is coming through each and every one of you. I really do. Because then, well, I guess the proof is in the pudding, right? Test the fruits. If the channel is going to grow, right, it will be the hand of God, rewarding you for the correct, or for the truth being put out, or, since this uh, prince of the world, Satan, controls such things, he could also be pushing the algorithms. But God is obviously stronger than, <laughs> not even questioning that. 
God is going to make sure that the right information gets out. And through me is that testimony that I'm doing my absolute best to get that truth out. So if you see me have a bad day, okay, it might be, um, it might be the trial of tribulation before the blessing, or maybe I said something that I wasn't supposed to. Give you today's lesson. So I'm going to watch my words carefully. Keep falsehood, sorry, keep falsehood and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches, but give me only my daily bread. Otherwise, I may have too much and disown you and say, who is the Lord? Yeah, this is it, this is it right? When we're on our deathbeds, when we're sick, when we've lost someone, right, we cry out to God saying, help, help, help. But then many of us, when we're, when our cups are overflowing and full, we forget to engage with God. We only call out to Him when we're in pain or when we're when the suffering is happening. How many of you, including myself, remember during the good moments to look up and praise and say thank you? Do you still need Him? Do you still need God? Do you still need Jesus? When things are going right? That's the question to ask yourself for this morning. That's the question i got to remind myself as to why I forget in the good moments to say, yes, I still need you. All right, that's today's uh, today's preaching, because i got to get to work now. All right, guys, uh, thanks for listening, and stay with me on this, because I don't know if I'm preaching, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to get some messages across. And I thank you, Holy Spirit, for interpreting what I need to get out correctly, <laughs> uh, clear and concise, to these viewers, to my viewers, to the followers, to the followers, to, to your followers, not my followers, your followers, <laughs> I guess, jump. Alright, I'm not going to say it, I'm not going to say that <laughs> there's two letters. Uh, I want to show you guys the progress of how it's looking right now. Floor is installed. This is just making sure that the uh, matting is moved down straight, but ultimately. And today we'll start probably moving the appliances on the inside. But he's working on last minute talent work. Um, Mr. Vincenzo is actually a master in hydraulic engineering. But he does so many other things, including being a chef and working a second job currently. So what he was telling me today is ultimately he's working about 20 days, 20 days, 20 hours for 24 hour a day. I could see it. I could see it. He needs a day of rest. And yeah, it's cool. I'll show you guys the progress of the place as it's coming together. The renovations. They do this once every 10 years. So look, he's been around for a while. And the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit, mm, Spiritu Santi, this up, has shown up in another way today. And I actually like to use this as a symbol, as an icon of my channel. It was in the shop the whole time, which is crazy. You guys see that? If there's ever a perfect representation of the Holy Ghost as a symbol, I'd say this pretty much, this is it. <laughs> this screams ghost, angel, crucifix, all at the same time, which is crazy how this one item, this one tiny item that I, I'm going to figure out how to wear it, was located in this place. I've never seen anything like this. And it just matches up like the 
this is the symbol I want to use in some sense or form the icon of this channel uh, interesting stuff and my intuition was correct um, I had approached the supervisor about the whole scraping situation with the other individual that's that's been here and I was right on point it is a glass pipe and that glass pipe is having a white rocky substance smoke through it so it's not the addiction that's the problem right like I feel from I understand the issue is it being smoked about 10 meters from me. So I got some praying to do over the situation, ultimately to help him. So I know why I wasn't guided here. And I know why I'm feeling these waves of dark energy versus light inside the place. It's because obviously a drug like that has some very demonic stuff attached to it. Right? I know this, I've been in that world. Um, so I understand why now I'm here, one of the main reasons. Not for myself, but at least for him, to help pray over him. That is it for now. All right, we're back on a regular work schedule. Actually, today was kind of light. And my intuition was definitely on point with a number of things. The crack Blaine, <laughs> I don't want to strike. <laughs> Um, has actually been a little more prevalent than I thought and the boss took action and ultimately just gave me the keys to the place which is awesome sign of trust um, got paid a little bit cash today so it's kind of a toss-up between more cake well I no gelato for that now <laughs> the whole new level of cake and pizza so I'm definitely gonna buy the pizza that three kilogram pizza or rather in pounds that would be about six pounds <laughs> um, and that'll feed us for tonight but I like how things are going um, I'm happy with the place I got to meditate got to pray so many things got answered so quickly I went through a uh, subliminal detoxing I came out of it with a ton of energy and then I had a cup of coffee <laughs> And now I'm all wired, so I don't really know what to do with myself. Um, <laughs> all the energy only comes from the meditation. <laughs> it was a meditation, <laughs> and then the Holy Spirit. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to be on the way to gelato time. Let's see if we can knock that out first. Uh, God willing, it'll be three. Three? Yeah, I think it's got to be three. And then we'll walk back a couple of kilometers. So, I will check back in here shortly because we got to do another take inside that, that gelato place, the Elise Cafe. That place is on point. All right. All right, guys, I just, we, we stumbled across this, this alleyway right here. And I wanted to make sure that the highest quality recording can happen. So we're going to take a little walk and check this out. Because this feels extremely authentic for us to life here. Here in Serkuza. Yeah, I'm trying to walk backwards. And it's like the rest of the city doesn't exist at all. It is so quiet in here. That's really interesting. I just noticed it here. All right. Found something else cool. <laughs> so overloaded on energy tonight. I don't know what's inside, but we're going to find out. Hopefully. Let's take a small video. 
stare at this all day. Little bold guys. <laughs> they look like eggs. Wow. It's, it's a steel. Make sure the zero is in the right place. It's a good price, hold on. Yeah, right there. <laughs> it says 14,000 euro. <laughs> Clearly, I can buy one with my 20 euro. This place is amazing. <laughs> okay, all right, Jaja. Why am I whispering? <laughs> Each painting was anywhere between. 14 and maybe 20,000 euro. That's crazy. Where'd you go? You don't want to come inside? They had some amazing paintings in there. Here, they were steel too, like I could afford one. Yeah, you had to pay. You had to pay for one. It's like 14,000 euro. But it's like... No, 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 I don't know. Let's just go to the front door. <laughs> I don't want to go back in again. It'd be weird. I just want to see his reaction. Look at these paintings, man. Oh, <laughs> they even have little clay heads sitting in egg cartons that are shaped like little bald guys. It's the most interesting thing. Take a look. there but it's not all right guys i'm gonna stop it right here right. nope no, no. coming back over here all right back online so my buddy definitely appreciates the inside the spiritual g part spiritual g appreciates what he's just seen in there um yeah so keep in mind guys we are two cave dwellers <laughs> living in caves <laughs> and we just walked into a very very high status social art gallery um i hope i didn't stink too bad but <laughs> maybe that's part of the experience as well and that is where we led to first it's not food we decided to make a choice on the pizza or the gelato but that was that was a good find that was eye candy that's what that was <laughs> i'm finally starting to calm down from my caffeine high so what my Switzerland cave dwelling buddy is trying to do is ultimately do what he does every day. He just goes into places and asks for food. <laughs> because he comes out of Switzerland, he has a very high standard to the type of food he wants to eat. So he's walking into the most expensive places kind of up and down the street here um, to acquire dessert. <laughs> Not actual food, but dessert. <laughs> And he has a lot of luck with it. So I'm gonna see what he shows up with. God willing. Because I do want to keep the money in my pocket just for the pizza. That's ultimately what I have set my mind on. Um, yeah, it's a very different life. <laughs> Stay tuned. First on the list, I'm going to make <laughs> egg sandwich, courteous of one of the nearby restaurants. This is going to be, in my mind, an appetizer. Um, 
Normally I don't bring my knife with me, but tonight I actually did. So I'm gonna cut this up, make it into a sandwich. At least maybe stuff it back into the bag and just have it ready and see what else pops up. But in my mind, this is like the appetizer before the meal that's gonna flow this way. So this was, uh, this was his magic key for you. See what happens next. All right, buddy. What did you want to get Got this time? <gasps> he found some pizza. Knife, <laughs> knife. Knife, all right. All right, it's score number two, some pizza. Pretty cool. All right, back at the cafe where I found that three kilogram pizza. This Luigi over here is making us something special. Um, and then we're gonna do a little bit of dessert. I've kind of got my eyes set on this over here. <laughs> Which is these sugary things with uh, the pistachio on it. Now, Luigi wants me to get a... <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> uh, Luigi wants me to get a recording of him making a pizza. So, I did last time for this. Kids weren't nuts about it. Alright, I'll tune in back in here in just a minute. When he's ready. Alright, this is how an authentic Sicilian pizza is made by Luigi himself. This is by far the best cafe I've found in the area. At least it didn't go in the pizza. <laughs> that would have been the perfect topping. <laughs> Whole new topping set. All right, uh, Luigi, man, you're the man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And he said that he tagged the or tagged the place. Take the place. In the video. Yeah, the name. And we're back on that. All right, I need a card. There we go. And right here, guys. This is where I'm at. And this is in Seracuzzo. So, um, out of all the places I've walked in the city so far, this is by far the best cafe. Come here. So, we have wandered back across the street with an amazing pizza that Luigi just cooked for us. Uh, the sweets are in that bag right there. My buddy Benji has been so graciously gifted by a couple of restaurants on the way back uh, the egg sandwiches that we came across as well as the pizza and a bottle of water and an orange and that was um, all out of the generosity of the hearts of the people working at the places so 
this has been a fantastic night. Glory to be to God. Holy Spirit, thank you for leading us. And the rest of you, have a blessed night. I'll see you in the morning. I'm following to eat. Ciao, ciao.